screen, right? Okay. So our first speaker today will be Honorable Frank Sonios from Netherlands, a trainer, coach, researcher, marketer, author, and motivational speaker. So let me also try to give you briefly about our great first speaker. Honorable Frank Sonia is a natural born leader, the son of a mother who survived Japanese concentration camp in Indonesia and a father who was a financial accountant. Honorable Frank often found himself serving as mediator between his parents and friends, helping the needy whenever he could. His father didn't seem to appreciate this as he wanted his son to be a successful entrepreneur. Thus, for 17 years, Honorable Frank was discouraged from following his heart's desire as his father did not accept the softer side of his son. That discouragement seems to keep all growth opportunities out of Frank's reach and he struggled to feel loved. Frank coped with this, coped with this by creating a fantastic world where he could be himself. Finally, Frank stood up to his father and embarked on his mission to live his own dream. He became a well-known sportsman, a successful trainer and coach, a researcher marketer, and a loving partner. But living in his imagination, a place he called Shadowland, he was led into isolation that resulted in a deep depression, seems to be stuck in his dream. And he woke up one day feeling completely unaware in a prison cell in Sydney, Australia. In the end, that incarceration saved his life as it forced him out of Shadowland. From the lesson he learned from that experience and the difficulties of his growing up years, Honorable Frank became the man he had always wanted to be. Helping others helped Frank to escape his own pain. Initially, he didn't believe himself and he found it easier to dwell in an, in, the, in an imaginary world. Even with many friends, he felt utterly alone. In spite of his success, he only felt more insecure. He discovered that by projecting his dream on other people, he was just hanging on, ambering the great fear and frustration that had scared him. He wasn't living his own dream. That tactic seems to work for a long time. But when he found himself in an isolated cell, realistic struck. After three attempts to end his life, he was finally inspired by his goodness of strangers who helped wake him from his nightmare. During that ordeal, he was involved with the worst of prison inmates and became famous by solving the murder on Samata's night. After more than four years in jail, as an innocent man falsely convicted, Frank found his way back to Netherlands, where he started his own successful tennis school and started using his life skills to help people to make their dreams come alive. What a story. Wow. 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 Is he here? Yeah, he's here. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Inspiring already. I'm inspired already. And it's, I believe it's strange. It's amazing and inspiring. Amazing story. Yeah, but it's strange that yeah. somebody else uh, tells you this. This is so different <laughs> it's mm. when somebody else uh, is, is sharing this. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah. So now we want to hear more. 
<laughs> of course you want to hear more <laughs> and i will give you more and i will give you more and it's really strange that i say this but for such a long time i didn't want to talk about this so long i never wanted to talk about this till till the moment i met that guy with no arms and legs nick vujic and when i saw this guy i thought oh my god is he talking about me is he talking about me because you don't want to talk about failure and i had to learn um that's why i say always doubt less fail more and dream bigger and when you listen to nick vujic when you really listen to nick vujic you think oh my god you know when you have a second chance of life and you found it you can enjoy it that's your good right but you can also it's your moral obligation to share because i found out that 80 percent of the people will say in the end of their life i wish i had lived the life i want to live and for me that was a sign to write my book and i want to do that introduction now about um, about me you did a beautiful one and i'll do a, a really short short uh, cut in that that give me the message um, uh, i want to i want to tell the world because you know i'm not doing it for the for the applause i'm only doing it for the cause because i don't like people living in a prison with the door wide open and you know i did it for so long trapped in my dreams and now i want to share with everybody who wants to listen get out get out and be the gift you were always meant to be so i will ask you what will your last words be on this earth if i only had i'm frank sunius i'm the author of the book trapped in a dream never lose your drive i help people who are dissatisfied with the life they are living to create a life they truly want to live through a unique six-step program where you will discover your passion and purpose to feel more fulfilled and alive as we all know that from the moment we are born you start living your life taught and teach by others but is that really your life or what others expect from you it's not if it's not your life burnout depression are waiting for you on a corner well i think you and I are not meant to resign from life before living your dream life. I know people don't choose dreams. I'm telling you, the dream will always choose you. So tell me, why are you here on earth? What is your purpose? What is your strength? What is your passion? And what will make you real, really happy? We all have different gifts, but we all have to use them. That's what really counts. It's not how much we have on this earth or what we own. It's about how much we share and give to this world. Don't think twice. Remember, guess what? There is no overtime in life. Now is all we have. So what invention do you have buried in your mind? What ID, what, what cure, what skill do you have still in sight to share with the world? So please believe in your dream, in your gift. Because if you don't, then you're not selling your own, yourself short, but you, sh you sh shell the whole world short. The biggest reason we don't live our dreams are uncertainty, fear. And guess what? Doubt. When doubt comes in our minds, fear takes over and we will become uncertain. Did you know that doubt killed more dreams than failure ever did? But now the good news. Can you change from being a doubter to a chooser? Yes, you can. Let me be your dream driver. And with my book and program, 
I will help you to grab that dream that choose you, that dream that fits you, that picked you. And I will help you to achieve your goals to live your dream life. Remember, what if one opportunity could change your life? Let my message be that change and you will find real happiness by doing what you really love. And that's my um, introduction about myself. And uh, you can find it everywhere because it's, it, it's a video, a small video about my book, about who I am and the training I do. And you know, it's funny. I talk, I talk a lot on events and guess what? I had to learn that nobody, nobody really is interested in your story. Nobody, nobody cares. Nobody really cares about your story. But when that story can take away pain from other people, guess what? <laughs> Then they start to become really interested. Then they think, oh my God, I've been there, done that. How did he come out? How did he come out? And to learn that process, that process of writing a book that is, of course, about you, but not really about you. Because I had to learn to write a book that's not about me. Because it's not about me anymore. I've done it. I lived it, I've been there, and I survived. And that's, that's the only thing that counts. And when Nick Vujic told me, Frank, you've got one big problem, Frank. I said, oh, you mean my mental health problems? <laughs> he said, no, 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 not that. You've got one big problem. You've got arms and legs, my friend. And I had to think about that. We all have arms and legs. And some people don't have arms and legs. But they found a way. And if Nick Vujicic, with no arms and legs, can find his way, what, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? And, of course, I want to give you uh, a few points from my, uh, out of my book and from my program. Because I think it's so important. And I give it away. And I give so much away. Because I'm still here. So I'm so grateful for all the people who fought for me when I couldn't uh, fight. You know, I've been homeless. I've been a prisoner. I've been a mental patient. And all those times, I thought it was over. Now it's really done. Guess what? There was always a small window. Somewhere there was a light. And in my book, you will see all those miracles. And that's why I say to a lot of people, don't wait for a miracle. Become a miracle. And guess what? We are a miracle. We are still here. And tomorrow will be a better day. Because what we learned today I'll be a better uh, person today because, of course, I talk today about what I learned already. And when you talk, you're only repeating what you already know. We know that. But by telling me this, I remind myself every time again and again and again. Sometimes I close myself in that prison again because sometimes I think, must I do this? Must I do that? No, I cannot do that. So doubt is, comes in many disguises. It's, it comes, you know, it, it always comes where you don't suspect it. And guess what? The only thing you have to do is call the police, you know, get them arrested because doubt will kill every dream you have. And of course, you cannot call the police, really. But your support team, that's the most important thing. When you create a support team around you with a cheerleader, with a mentor, with a best friend, with a coach, with a protege, you can always rely on, guess what? You can fail whatever you want to fail. Because failing is only telling you that it's not for you and that the 
that there are better things are coming. So when it's a failure, guess what? You can also say, okay, this is not for me, but something bigger is waiting for me. And that's really truth. If you read my book, you can see every time I thought this is really the end. Now it is the end, you know. Guess what? Something beautiful happened because there are still beautiful, beautiful people on this world who are not selfish and who see the good in you. And when you find those people around you, guess what? Everything is possible. Really everything. Nick Vujicic, please look at him up. What happened to him in 24 hours from being somebody born in the outbacks of Australia in 24 hours? He became one of the biggest hyped motivational speakers in the world in 24 hours. And if you don't want to believe it, well, find it or call me or ask me because I'm not going to talk about Nick today. Uh, I talk about Nick a lot, but, you know, I want to give you a part of the Dream Driver program. And why did I make that Dream Driver program? Because I see the struggle from so many people with doubt and fear. And that's, that's my subject today. So I'm so glad, uh, Elizabeth, that you um, give me that uh, assignment. Because, oh my God, this is really my thing. So my program is six Ps. And I'm going to explain the six Ps in a quick uh, tempo. The first P I talk about is positivity. In fact, as a child, we should already get the subject of positivity thinking on school. A positive word of encouragement can help change somebody's entire life in a second. So always be positive when your dreams are telling you something. To find out if you have enough positive people around you, don't be afraid to rock your boat once in a while. If somebody falls out, then obviously they weren't meant to be in your boat in the first place. Beautiful things happen when you clear your life from all the negativity around you. It was Brooke Hampton who said once, speak to your children as if they are the wisest, kindest, and most beautiful and magical humans on earth. For what they believe is what they will become. Be who you needed when you were little. That's what positive thinking is all about. The second P in my Dream Driver program is persuasion. When you start believing in the dream that picked you, the dream that chose you, it's all about your personal belief or judgment that is not founded by certainty, there is no certainty. If you pick that dream, you know it's yours. Meaning, you are not sure, but believe it will be all right. If you want your dreams to come true, you must have a very, very strong persuasion that it's based on your own belief and followed with, guess what? Massive, massive action. And when I hear uh, Dr. Elizabeth speak, you see what she's already done. You know, all the things she's done. Was it easy? Not. It was, of course, not easy. But you see what you can uh, become when you take massive action. Because she knows what she's doing. That's for her. She was born to do this. So, you know, that's, that's already one big example if you follow up by massive, massive action, you and you alone know that the door for a new time is open for you, but you have to believe in it because it's your, your dream only. Tell people that they can watch you. They can mock you. And nowadays, guess what? You, you can also block somebody, but they better join you because nobody can stop you. That's how strong and proud you are, that you are living your dream. That brings us to the third P, which stands for pride. Are you still proud of who you are? 
and what you believe in. This is so important and will decide if you make your dreams reality. If you are proud of who you are, you have everything you need already inside you. And you don't have to wait for others to light your fire. You have your own matches, a box full of positivity, belief and pride is a good cause to live your biggest dream. If your dreams do not scare you, guess what? They are not big enough. So pause is the fourth P in my program. I know now that the most important thing in life is the pause, or in other words, the balance in your life. If you have a good balance, you will find your last two Ps much easier. As we all know, the pillars of success are health, wealth, spirituality, friends, family, romance, recreation, and your business career. And the better your pillars are in balance, the more room there is in your mind to really listen to that dream. But most of the time, there is no room because we are working too hard to find the right balance in our lives. And we are too busy with, guess what? Our to-do list. The dream are always there, but we postpone them every time. And we fool ourselves by telling our minds that one day everything will change and we will listen to our dreams. How long can you fool yourself? In my case, <laughs> it was much too long. But you, the reader, the listener, what are you going to do? Are you going to make the same mistake as I did? I have done? Or is this your wake-up call? I have here a little pause. And I have to go back to this one because this is stopped here. I want to share this. Oh, this is really, really very important. But before I go to the next very important P, I will share some wise lessons from my friend and psychiatrist, uh, uh, psychologist, Jeroen Baiman. It's about unwinding our big toe and why it's so important for the balance on our life. My whole life, I have loved playing sports. But for me, it was even more, even more uh, important for a long time. It was my only way to survive in this tough world, playing sport. And when you are young, you never think that your body will let you down one day. But I can tell you, just like some, something is telling you something, your body is also giving you signs to listen to. Most of the time, we don't listen. And then we need a physiotherapist to fix our problems. I was lucky to meet some of the best therapists here in Holland, and Jeroen is one of them. They all did an amazing job. That's one of the reasons I can still play sports at a very high level. But Jeroen showed me how important, how important it is that you use your big toe the right way. Jeroen told me, that your body is made to move, especially to walk. The shape of your shoulders is directly connected with the sentiments of your big toe. The form closure in the foot is yours. If you stand well on your big toe, forms a stable basis for all movements that take place above it. So make sure you use your big toe the right way, and your body will correct itself, and you will feel much better. A healthy body means a healthy mind, and your healthy mind will make good decisions, and there will be much more balance in your life. The fifth P stands for purpose, and it's a direct connection with the sixth P, which stands for passion. 
when you don't know your purpose, most of the time, fear and doubt and anxiety has taken over. But if you listen to your dream and you feel it, it's your purpose, it's your strength, and you start living that dream with passion, everybody can and will benefit from everything you do. That's why it's so important that we all live our dreams because people are waiting for your message. You and I have to share with the world. We all have different gifts and we all have to use them. That is what really, really counts. I told you before, it's not what we have or what we own in this world, but how much we give to this world. So what invention do you still have buried in your mind? What cure, what skill, what idea do you have inside to still share with this world? Don't think twice. There is no overtime in life. Now is all we have. Your return when you are living your dream will be so amazing. If you find your purpose in life and share your message, life will give you so much back. You will be full of energy, joy, and happiness. And your passion will always remind you that you have found your purpose and you will leave a legacy. It was Gary Wee Keller who said, What's one thing you can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier and unnecessary? You have your answer. Find your passion, find your purpose, your strength, and live your dreams. Don't let the sadness of your past and the fear of your future ruin the happiness of your present. And I think for me, maybe that's a beautiful end of my presentation. And I didn't uh, keep the score how long I, <laughs> I'm talking, but um, I'm so honored to talk about this subject because for 20 years, when I had my tennis school, I keep quiet. I enjoyed my second chance of life. When, when, when life gives you a second chance and you have your own tennis school and you have 130 children running around you and thinking you are, you're the best teacher in the world and oh my God, you can enjoy that. And I've got a beautiful holiday house and I can sit there in front of my holiday house and enjoy life to the fullest. But then you meet a guy with no arms and legs on a Sunday morning who tells you, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you, are you think you're ready already with life? Hey, come on, get out of the couch and start writing that book and make that program and start going to the world. Because there was an Australian nurse who did in 1996 a research on the people who were dying. She spoke with a thousand people who were in the last days of their lives. And she asked them questions. And in the top five, there were so many answers. You know, I wish I had uh, expressed my emotions more. I wish I had made uh, had more contact with my friends. But on the number one spot, there was, I wish I had lived the life I saw in front of me. And that's the life. When you sit alone on the couch tonight, when you sit alone is talk about yourself and see yourself what you want to do. Then you know why you're here on earth. And it's so important that you listen to yourself, that you listen and don't let nobody stop you. Make sure you have that support team. And when I see uh, Dr. Elizabeth, you know, when I see what she's doing, and I met her a few years ago, and you know, it was all fresh, and we were all new, and we were, we were Les Brown, and oh my God, I can listen to Les Brown for days and days and days. But guess what? I can listen to 
<laughs> Elizabeth also, Lucas also, and I can listen to everybody. So don't analyze people, but look at yourself. Look how, how, you, how unique you are. You know, we all have that same thing, that same story. And guess what? When I listen to people on Clubhouse, I met so many new Tony Robbins. I need. I listen to so many new Les Browns and and Frank Sunyas. And you know, there are so many people who have a story, an untold story, that can help so many people get out of depression. You know, because they need to hear that. They need to hear that moment. They think, "Hey, wait a minute. He is talking about me," just like Nick Vujicic was talking to me that Sunday morning. It was 35 degrees in my holiday house. And I was laying on the couch and I was not really awake. But then he said those words, get off the couch and be the gift you were always meant to be. And I thought, oh no, oh no, no, not me. I'm not gonna overstep my boundaries one more time. You know, I'm doing well. Guess what? Doubtless, fail more and dream bigger. And that's what I did from that moment on, you know, writing that book. Oh my God, I hated every page of that book for the first two years. But when I finished and saw the reviews coming back, I wish I had written this book already 25 years ago because that book was already in my head for 25 years, but I needed Nick Fujicic to push me out of my prison where I had locked myself in. And that's why now I hope I can do this for a long, long time. And I'm not telling about millions of people. Nick always says, what do you know about your neighbor? Start with your neighbors. Don't talk about, I'm gonna change the world. Stop, stop dreaming, stop dreaming. We can't do this, but together, together with people like Dr. Elizabeth Lucas, with all the other people uh, who are trying to do something about this world, because we, there's a lot of work to do. And we know that because now with the mobile phones, guess what the mobile phone is such a destruction. It's really a destruction. Seven, eight hours on average, every day, children are sitting on their phone. So we have a lot of work to do, uh, uh, Dr. Lucas and, uh, that's what we do. And, and that's why I admire you so much because you know we have work to do and that's what you're doing with, with yeah. We can do this. We really can do this. And if I can be a part of that, I will. So I'm so honored to be here and uh, thank you for the time. And I hand it over to you. I think your mic is off. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is amazing from the beginning to the end. Thank, Thank you. you so much for sharing your, I mean, it was so emotional, but we've learned a lot from it. Because like we say, if we were talking about relationship, you also need to start from within. And that is how you started the motion for us today. Because you break us to realize that in every situation you can find yourself, you can still become and you can still fulfill your purpose on earth and you can still bring your dream alive. And that is very, very important. You are the one that is showing us that there's nothing too difficult to do. You are the one that is showing us that no matter the situation, you can still come alive. You can still come out of that challenges, that situation, that adversity, that's where people have marked you, but you remove the mark. You remove the mark for you to move on and press on to fulfill your dream. You are the one also that showed us that in respect of your background, you can still change things in life. You don't have to stay to, in your past, but you have to press on to the future. 
And I'm so amazed because the very first time I met you about a few years ago, I never knew <laughs> that this was your journey. And that would like me to encourage everyone there. When you meet people for the first time, treat them nicely. Speak inspirationally and positive and give everyone respect because you never know who they are and you don't even know their journey. Another thing I also want to tell the world is don't look at their wealth. Don't look at their certificate or their awards or their position, but get closer to them to hear their story and their experience. Get closer to them to know their mistakes and how they've corrected it. So be willing to learn from them. Don't go and say, yes, I want to be like them. Be yourself because you are unique. Be yourself because you are special. Be yourself and be the best of yourself because you are created by God, the universe. And every one of us are packaged with gifts. Every one of us are designed for a purpose. So be yourself and know your purpose and follow your passion. I want to say thank you so much. I learned a lot, especially the six P's. <laughs> Let me just quickly recap on that. I mean, be positive. We've been saying that. Yes, you can international. That is our stand. Be positive. We are not saying there will be no trials, there will be no chaos, there will be no crisis, there will be no conflict, there will be no war, there will be no challenges. But stay positive. Because staying positive, we only push, move you forward to be productive, to be resourceful, and to be yourself. But if you keep staying in that negative, it will drag you back. And it will limit you. So I like that. Stay positive and say positive words to people that we encourage them. Nobody wants to hang around with somebody that will just be saying the words and discourage them or put them down. Because they had enough. They are fed up of their situation. They had enough. So they are not looking for negativity. They are looking for somebody that will lift their spirit up. They are looking for somebody that will challenge them to do something great. They are looking for somebody that will lift their spirit up to become, to achieve, and to fulfill. So let it be you that you are talking, listening to me today. Be positive channel. Be the, be the, 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 the vehicle of positivity then you will see how people will be attracted to you. Then you said preparation of personal beliefs. If you don't believe in yourself, you don't expect other people to believe in you. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to rise above every other situation. I say to people, you are stronger than any situation around you. Be yourself and believe that you can achieve it. Believe that you can succeed. Yes, people can have their own opinion, but you don't live by other people's opinion. You don't do things because of, on, on the basis of what we people say. You don't base all your life on what we people say. You've got to be yourself. I said it yesterday and I will say it again. When you came to this world, did you come with anybody? Obviously, when you leave this world again, you are going by yourself. So why do you have to live your life based on people say, based on their opinion? You also said that we should dream. We dream, we always be there. And that you postpone it or not, it's there. It is now, if you're going to do, do something, it's now. Former, former president of the United States of America, Barack Obama said, we are not waiting for anybody. 
to make that change. And we are not waiting for some time or somewhere. It's you and it's now to make the change. So you need to rise up, take the giant leaps and start preparing yourself. Start developing yourself and make a change, make an impact into other people's life. You also say that, yes, purpose. Every one of us has a purpose, but do we know our purpose? Because we are, some of us, we are populist. <laughs> we don't know, sorry, permit me to use that word. We don't know our purpose. We join the crowd and we're just moving. Why are you moving? Why are you doing that thing you are doing? Why are you achieving this? Why are you studying this? I don't know. That's always the case because you don't know your purpose. Because if you definitely know your purpose, you will know the channel you need to step up. You will know your path. You will know where to go. You will know the skills that you need to study to fulfill your purpose and be passionate about what you do. So I want to say thank you so much. Find your passion, find your purpose, and your dream will come to reality. Start with your neighbor or start with your family. Because before the neighbors is you, before the neighbors is your family. And then you start around you. If you want to change the world, start now. You want to change the world, start now. Start where you are. Start with yourself. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope I've run it up for you properly. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And, thank to, you. and to all our viewers, thank you for you're still here. You are listening. That's great. And I believe that some other people will also join in later and they will learn from your valuable, valuable wisdom, knowledge, and experience. Thank you once again for joining us today. And thanks for, we, thanks, we thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for that's having me. It. Thank you. Thank you.